So for today, we're gonna be looking at the Deep Explorer armor set. I finally got the helmet after so long. I do apologize for the people that have been waiting. I specifically have one person that kept asking. I do apologize that it took forever, but you gotta understand, man, I did not wanna run this dungeon, specifically the first encounter. Uh, it just takes forever, bro. It takes so long. So I would really appreciate if you guys liked the video, subscribe, if you guys can do me a favor because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, if you don't want to see me sleep myself or cry myself to sleep tonight, then a subscription would be very much appreciated. But other than that, let's just get into it. So the Deep Explorer set, I personally really like this set. I know a lot of people have been giving this set shit because quite frankly, it's kind of out of place if I'm being quite honest. Like the armor set does not look like it's supposed to be from Duali at all. I personally think that the hockey armor was supposed to be the seasonal pass armor and then the like skeleton armor was going to be the dungeon armor and they switched it out. That's what I think. I could be super wrong on that. I probably am wrong on that, but it just doesn't make sense when you look at the activity armor. The activity armor and the season pass armor usually have like some relation to each other. And for me, it just makes most sense because again, the activity armor set is very tactical and the hockey armor is very tactical. So just wanted to at least throw that out there. But as for how it actually looks again, I think the best pieces are going to be the chess pieces. I say again, because I did do a tactical video where I explained that for me, I think the best pieces are the chess pieces. Uh, I think the chess piece for each of the classes is by far the best piece. Even the warlocks, which I think the warlocks are probably the worst of them all because of the arms. Like everything is bulked out. And then when you look at the arms, it's just so thin, at least for the female warlocks. Uh, male warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is, it, is it the same for males? I would love to know. But for the helmets, I think the helmets are fine. I think the Titan got the best helmet from the whole thing. I think the Hunters is a little weird because it gives off that like the skin between your like the, your nose and your lip, like where your mustache is at. I feel like that's just the whole helmet for the Hunters. Like that's how it feels like to me, which is why I don't really like it. For the Warlocks, I think the helmet's fine. It's just kind of boring. Like it's not anything crazy. I would have liked, I don't actually, I don't even know to be quite honest. Like maybe some glows would have been nice. I think the slit for the face is just kind of overdone at this point. So I don't think they should have had that. Maybe give them a visor like the Titans, but make it more warlocky. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, I think honestly, visor for each of the classes would have been way better than what the hunters or the warlocks got because the hunter, again, that like lip skin thing just looks weird, or the mustache lip or mustache skin thing looks weird. And then for the warlocks, I feel like I've seen this helmet before in like 50 other sets. Uh, for the arms. I think they're the weakest part from all the classes. The hunter, I don't like the the asymmetry of it. Although I will say that the asymmetry works for this whole set because it does even out on each side. For example, the pauldron on the right side and the all the armor on the left side of the boots. It makes sense because now one side's armored out and the other side isn't and it's the reverse for the bottom as well so i think that evens out but when you combine it with other pieces you just have to keep that in mind because you don't want one side being too heavy uh same thing with the arms for the titans i think the arms for the titans is way too small at least for the females i haven't seen the males but it's just way too small and just kind of like anticlimactic i guess you would say like everything looks super cool and then you see the arms and you're just like wow that looks really disappointing uh maybe if the shoulder or the gauntlets not gauntlets if the the pauldrons were a little bit thicker i think it would have been way better it's just that it's such a weird choice to give them that weird like two pieces of armor there just it, it looks it looks weak compared to everything else as for the warlocks i think the arms are really really cool i really really do like them it gives off juggernaut feels like the chest piece and I actually think this is probably one of the better arms. I just think it's going to be really hard to combine with certain pieces. For the boots, I already said my piece about the Hunter. I like that the asymmetry works really well with the arms. 
but if you combine it with other pieces just be aware that you don't want one side being too heavy i do like that one one side is like very uh very armored up and on the other side is not i think that's super cool the only problem that you'll encounter is combining it with other angular pieces which the hunters don't have a lot of angular armor and when we do it's usually either unshaderable or it doesn't work to this armor's favor so just be aware of that the titans have have the best uh, boots in the game hands down they have the best boots from this whole set i think it's super dope it goes really well with a lot of pieces specifically uh, a chess piece that i use for the example set that you guys will see in a bit but the boots are definitely hands down the best and most usable piece from this whole set aside from the chest piece and the helmet again i think the titans just overall got the best piece from this whole set for the warlocks i think the boots are very boring i'm gonna be real with you guys it's very very boring i feel like they needed maybe a little bit more pouches a little bit more armor and when i say armor i specifically mean like plate armor because whatever they have on right now is mm, I don't know it's pretty hard because on the on the actual like feet and the and the calves looks really cool i feel like it's probably the knee pad i feel like the knee pad's pretty disappointing and then the thighs i feel like if you guys had like pouches there or something i don't know just very also anticlimactic i don't know why my my head keeps going to that word but it just feels very disappointing to me as for the class items i think the hunter probably got the best class item it looks really really cool it has this cap so if you've ever always wanted a cap that's really cool and the there's like this metal plate on the collarbone that's really cool as well it shaders really well and the nets on the back of the cloak is really cool as well my only issue is it doesn't cup like the collarbone metal thing does not cup armor piece as well so it, it'll look like it's actually like hovering over it which is a bit annoying for the titans the mark is okay it's definitely usable i just feel like it's whatever's if i don't know i feel like it would have been way better to give them a more tactical stuff like maybe more pouches maybe uh some magazines that would have been really cool like if you really want to just showcase it just like ammo uh ammo would be really cool to just show like maybe an ar magazine or some shotgun shells something like that uh maybe a few gadgets here and there there is like a thermal thing on one of the sides i just don't like it it's a little too big for me i, I would have much preferred if that was on the back but i think the cloth the mark is also a little too small and just kind of like forgettable so overall i think i feel like this would have been the perfect opportunity to give uh titans a really good tactical mark that has like minimal cloth that would have been really good or just have the cloth like uh wrapped around their the waist so that way it's nothing but just a yeah I, I don't know that's me personally for the warlocks the most forgettable bond i've ever seen I'm gonna be real with you guys i think it's cool that it clasps on the arm like because on one on the other side there's actually nothing there so it looks like it just clasped on which is cool but i think i think the the hockey symbol is a little bit boring if it was engraved in the actual piece like the armor i think that would have been way better but overall i think this armor set's very usable the hunters you guys can use the chest piece the boots and the cloak i think those three are easily able to be used in different sets i think the helmet and the arms are going to be very annoying to use though the titans dude you guys have helmet boots chest piece shit even the mark in some cases i can see me using the arms definitely not going to use them unless i'm going for a minimal armor look or, or a small armor look i'll use them but even with this set even with the set that it's supposed to go with it looks bad and then for the warlocks honestly the chest piece is going to be used a lot by me the arms as well and then maybe the boots uh other than that the helmet's very forgettable and the uh, mark or the bond is also very forgettable so as for how they shader uh they shader pretty well the hunters specifically i really like a lot of the pieces the only ones that i really don't like is probably the arms the arms are a little bit weird but other than that the boots shader look they look really well currently looking at the echoed anger shader and it looks really good with almost all of these if not all of them 
the only one that I can see that's going to give you problems is the Warlock, because as you guys can see from Echoed Anger, uh, the red is pretty much everywhere except the boots. The boots are taking the white, which I think would be the third color because the the primary color would be red and the secondary color would be the the dark like green blue. So just be aware of that. As for Abyssinian Gold, it also looks really good with it. Thankfully, the boots are taking the black from Abyssinian Gold for Warlocks. For Titans, you guys are getting the brown, which again, that makes kind of sense because the black is the primary color. For Sato Tribe, it looks really good as well. A lot of these pieces are shadering exactly how you want them to be. A lot of them are not choosing secondary colors or off colors, which is really good. The only thing that I'm going to tell you is the warlock is going to be the most trouble for you because a lot of the pieces are cloth but other than that a lot of armor pieces are looking really good thankfully as for the example sets i ended up using the chest piece for the hunters again because i just cannot find anything else for the boots but it's okay because i will make a, a video for the boots later most likely hopefully fingers crossed but i am doing a variation of the tactical look i made for the actual tactical video which i did make uh, i don't know if i've plugged it yet but i'll have it right now one of my favorite videos that i've done because all of them look super super cool again if you have not seen that video i highly suggest you see that video because it's really good for a tactical look i go in depth with almost all of the looks that i made so again just making sure you are aware of that for the exotic of choice we're using faux tracer just because it gives off that tactical look with the war painted ornament because i really do not like the base look of it it has a purple that doesn't change color and at least with war painted it has a visor that doesn't change color but it's blue which is easily rectified with a shader choice for the arms we're using the crystal cream grips for the chest piece we're using the deep explorer chest for the boots we're using dinos born strides and then for the mark or the cloak and for the cloak we're using the psionic stalker cloak so i love all of these pieces this is a variation of the red one i did for the tactical look this one is on the other side of the spectrum where it's a lot smaller it the fact that the kristen cream grips and the dinos born strides really make you look small which is why I, really gravitated towards this piece because i wanted to make myself look a little bit smaller because the chest piece is really good to the point where if you combine it with pieces that look big it's gonna look big if you combine it with pieces that look small it's gonna look small i love it and that's why it's one of my favorite chest pieces for the hunter so far because it's perfect damn near perfect uh for the shader we're using metro shift just because i didn't want to really think too much about this because again uh, the Deep Explorer vest specifically, I have so many looks for this. It's not even funny. I'll probably, hopefully, have some pictures up of the different styles that I've done with Deep Explorer stuff. And you can really go all out with it. As long as it looks tactical, it's going to look good with the Deep, Deep Explorer vest. Uh, just hands down. For the Titan, we're using the Insurmountable Skull Fort for the exotic. And we're using the Mind Vault ornament for it, specifically because of the angularity. Uh, for the... For the arms we're using retrograde tg2 mostly because it's the best one so far that i found that goes well with the sun break plate although i will say i i am i am still looking for a better arm for this chest piece for the boots obviously we're using the deep, deep explore uh boots because it looks really good paired with the sun break i think it just it looks like it's supposed to be there which is why i love it and then for the mark we're using desolation diver mark just because i really like how it kind of brings everything together so i think the only piece that are out of place in this whole set is the helmet and the arms i think those two you can swap them out for whatever you want i do love sunbreak and the explore boots i think they go well together i don't know what it is but it looks so fucking good so i highly suggest it it's definitely my favorite pairing so far i just need to find a better arm and a better helmet for it other than that i think the desolation diver mark goes really well with it and again that's all i really have to say about this and for warlocks we are using the storm dancers brace with the induction ceremony ornament specifically because i just kind of wanted to use it there is no reason behind this i just wanted to use this exotic uh with the ornament because the ornament looks super super cool so for the helmet, we're using the Forbidden Visage cover just because I really like how it looks with the chest piece. I paired it with the arms and the boots from the Deep Explorer because I feel like just having the boots wouldn't wouldn't be enough. And I actually really do like how the arms 
pair with this whole set. And then last but not least, we're using the Psionic Speaker Bond because I really like how the electricity actually goes through the bond and it almost looks like the metal is still like is being the connection there for that. So I will say this is probably my least favorite. I'm not saying it looks bad. I actually do like it. It's just that compared to like the Hunter or the Titan, this one just kind of to be fair, I'm using pieces that I was like, they're not bad. They're just not the best. I think the best is the chest piece hands down. The arms are super cool, but it's going to look better with a tactical look. So just be aware of that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which pieces are you guys going to be using? I'm definitely going to be using the chest pieces, some of the arms, some of the boots, and then uh, the Titan helmet. I am really excited to do some of the stuff I'm thinking about. The only unfortunate part is I am currently out of the uh, material for transmog so i have to wait until next season to actually start going crazy with it although i might start making videos and just kind of like showing you there i have like the green check mark thing so that way you guys can see what i'm doing but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point i really do appreciate y'all because y'all are the real ones but other than that i'll see you guys later